Welcome to my channel, the DZ Phoenix, where I always talk about the national team. I have to go straight into the list and I have to go talk about the press conference that Ben Madi has and, you know, react to everything that has been swirling around social media regarding our team, our players, and our coach. So, our goalkeepers are Mumbulhe Okija Zugba. Our defenders are Tahrat, Abdullawi, Atal, Ben Spaini, Ben Amri, Halaymiya, Mondi, Tuba, Bedran. Our midfielders are Ben Nasser, Zorgen, Zuruki, Fuguli, Bekibla, and Bulaya. Our forwards are Slimani, Bunajah, Unnes, Mahrez, Belayli, Amwara, and Ben Rahma. I'm actually pretty satisfied with the list. Some people are confused about Tahrat and Abdullawi. Tahrat. Um, has experience, so I think that's why he came here, um, came to the squad. He might play for Djibouti, I'm not sure, because it's not as a, a big team. Abdullawi uh, might also be for Djibouti, I'm not sure, but it, it's you can afford it, I guess. It's not. I'm not a big fan of him, but compared to some other options, backup to Ben Spaini, I think he's better. And Atal isn't here, actually. He got injured, even though he got called up. Um, he injured himself last minute, which is unfortunate. Halimiya, I think he's a better option over Zufan. Um, Bidran, Tuba, Mondi have nothing to complain about. The midfielders are great, in my opinion. So are the forwards. So, online and, you know, the news outlets in general... There has been a lot of complaints or a lot of critiques of the list. Um, a little bit. I wouldn't. I. I don't want to say that it's baseless, but it's a little bit too critical of the coach and too critical about how lists are made. In this point in time, for things like the World Cup qualifications. It's not something you should gamble with, and it's not something you should, uh, you know, take loosely. Many factors go into making a list. We cannot bring players just to try them out. We don't know how they'll fit in with us. We don't know their attitude. We don't know if they will have the same spirit as everyone else, if they'll work as hard, if they just want to join the national team. Um, just to add a little bit of hype to their name, we really don't know. And, you know, will they end up just sitting on the bench? There is some other good players, um, that we like and that Benmadi has mentioned that won't necessarily be called up because of the competition. Because that there's so much competition and players that have been tried, true, and tested um, that they won't have a place with the national team, at least for the moment. And it's no, there's no point of bringing an excess of players when most of them will just end up on the bench. That does not make that much sense. Um, if a team is working out, if they're performing, Algeria has 31 games unbeaten. Our players have done extremely well, and we haven't lost till, since 2018, almost four years, because the World Cup is next year. Uh, no need to make big changes. We have to carefully consider who to bring, and we have to watch them for a long period of time. Belmadi did bring new players. For those who think he hasn't, he has. He has brought Zorgan, Amora, Zoruki, Tuba. He brought uh, Kibel. Yes, he isn't on the list this time, but doesn't mean he won't bring him in another game it honestly depends who we're playing against and maybe he doesn't fit in tactically against those oppositions um you know how the team would play against those oppositions is what i meant to say i don't know if it's because some of those players are born in algeria some of them don't play in france zuruki plays in netherlands so does tuba um Kibel did play in France, though. I don't know what's the issue exactly, but there is a lot of people who 
make it seem like he wants players to come to him when actually all these players he looked for by himself. Um, yeah. And then Burahma, a lot of people are wondering how come he never, you know, starts doesn't start as often. Well, Murahma doesn't start as often because he hasn't proven himself yet. It might be from a lack of confidence or something like that, which is the most likely scenario. And Brumadi and Murahma, you know, talk often about this. And Murahma has said that to Brumadi, because I watched the press conference, so I highly recommend people to watch it, that he understands that he hasn't been playing up to his full potential. But he's really a hopeful that, you know, he'll get there. And I love Bin Rahma because he has a really positive attitude. And that's the kind of attitude you like from the national team. If you're a substitute, you want the team to win with, the team to win with or without you. It doesn't matter if you're playing or not. I mean, it's more beneficial if you play. But if you're not going to add to the team at the moment, it's no point. There's no point for you to start anyway. And it, and then a lot of people were asking about Birmadi, um, the opinion about Zedetka. And Zedetka, well, actually, Birmadi has said, we've been following him since he was in Ligue 2. And that's been a while. Now he's in Clermont FC. Uh, he would be a right back, the position of Atal. Maybe he'll come, but I'm not sure if that's going to happen, to be honest. Bilmadi said um, that his agent uh, and Bilmadi were talking about this, you know, bringing him to the national team for a while. But Bilmadi says there's a few things that he would like him to improve on as a player in order to come with the national team. And he has said that he has progressed. But the, he said doesn't mean I'm going to call him up because he has yet to improve. Um, just because he's illegible and just because he wants to play for Algeria doesn't mean he should come and that he'll fit in with our tactics. You know, the Algerian national team have a certain characteristics, a certain style. We put a lot of pressure on the opposition. We, we like... We have a very offensive team, and players will have to adapt to those that style quickly, like Zorgan, like Zoruki, like Amora. They very quick, very quick to adapt. They have yet to improve, yes, uh, but it's not. We're not trying to chase after players um, who either don't want us or are not up to our standards. At least not yet, anyway. It's my opinion. I am no expert, but that's my view on things. I've seen a lot of bashing of Bin Mahdi, and a lot of people say, oh, it's okay to critique the coach. Yes, I agree. You're allowed to critique the coach, but there is a difference between critiquing the coach and just critiquing him because he didn't bring players that you would like to see with the national team there's a difference i would understand if we weren't performing well i would understand if he brought any random player to play with us i would understand but in this situation i really don't when he's giving us results we have never had a coach like that we have to be grateful that we do because you know we might not always have him and once he's gone if we push him out i don't think that's gonna happen but we really have to cons carefully consider things. The media is already not on Bil Mahdi's side. We don't have to add to that either. Uh, but I feel like a majority of Algerians agree with me anyway. But I feel like we have to support our coach when he's performing well. And that just because he hasn't brought a certain player that you like or that people like doesn't mean he's not doing his job well. Because that's the biggest critique I've heard. And also about the law, but I'm not going to go there. Not today. It has, there's a lot of things that go into making a national team. A lot of work. Bin Mahdi researches a lot of people. Don't think he's never 
researched all those players he wanted, like Shirky or Adley or Zdetka. He mentioned Zdetka today anyway. Um, you know, at water when he, that's it, before he chose France. It's not like an easy job and it would be nice if people let him do it because he's giving us results. We need to build a national team. Yes, it's good to have new players, but at the right time. When it's not, you know, during a time like a World Cup qualifications, where these players, if they come, all those players from Europe that you mentioned, you know, haven't had the time to get used to the way we play. Or Africa, because Africa is a very hard place to play in. And, you know, it's always a little bit difficult for Algerians from other, you know, countries who who are used to nice pitches and a good good weather weather to come um that's really basically all i have to say and i hope you enjoyed the video and see you next time